Today we're going to be looking at the New 52 rendition of Superman. He first appeared in Action Comics Zero in 2011, but had his first solo title in Superman 2011 Issue 1. His name is Clark Kent, but many other than such as Jor-El and Zod call him by his Kryptonian name of Kal-El. Now to look to the origin of the character, you have to look all the way back to 1938 where he debuted in Action Comics number 1. But even before this, we can look at Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster's short strip comic titled The Reign of the Superman. Here he is the Man of Steel and the champion of the people that we know, but instead a bald vagrant who got his powers from experience, and now he uses these powers for evil. He would go on a crime spree, but soon his powers would end. This version of the character went from zero back to zero. However, this version of the character is quite a far cry from the man we know today. But it is interesting to note that aspects of him would be used for some of his villains, such as Lex Luthor, where he got his baldness from, and Darkseid, where he has the Omega Beams. Superman would then transition to the hero we know and love for almost 70 years. However, after 70 years, DC felt they needed to start fresh, and so Superman as a character was rebooted. Most of them say the same, such as his iconic colors and catchphrase, but now he had lost his underwear and gained a collar? Despite this, fans and critics seem not to like this ver version of the character very much, with WaltCulture.com rating the death of Superman as the worst moment in the New 52. Now similar to his original origin, as Krypton is doomed to destruction, a young kal is sent into space and eventually lands in Kansas, where Martha and Jonathan Kent discover him. However, quite different from his original origin, Martha and Jonathan are killed when Clark is still a teen. Because of this, the new 52 su Superman seems distant at many times and is not the lighthearted Superman that we knew and seems to be more alien than man at some points. Before he was Superman, he donned a suit consisting of a cape and t-shirt, which is quite different from the original Superman in terms of his Superboy days. He would then don his Kryptonian armor when he learned of his heritage and would operate as a hero in Metropolis. Eventually, due to the presence of the Mother Boxes on Earth, he would join forces with other heroes to form the Justice League and face threats from his universe but also parallel Earths as the crime syndicate during the Forever Evil events. During this time, he would later reunite with his cousin Supergirl to defeat a rogue Kryptonian named Hell and would even be infected by the Doomsday viruses. He would also team up with a man named Ulysses who would become his foe and a man named Wraith who he would team up and have conflict with as well. Unfortunately for him, all these fights would catch up to him in the final days of Superman. During this arc, we would see all the damage that Superman took come back to haunt him. What was once a man who was seen as a god in his world is now slowly dissipating like any other man. He knows nothing can be done about it, and so he goes to make peace with those close to him. But as this happened, there seems to be another Superman. Who could this guy be? This is a, super, this is a mystery that Superman works to find out. Superman continues to work on finding out who this man is, and while he does that, he comes into contact with some of his former Justice League teammates, ma mainly Wonder Woman and Batman. Together they work to find out just who is this Superman imposter. This new Superman carries on his path of destruction until he meets a man named Clark White. Look familiar? This man is Batman of the pre-reboot era. No, 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 rewind. This, is, this man is Superman of the pre-reboot era living with his son John and his wife Lois. As he tries to calm down this new Superman that he's met, our beloved New 52 shows up and a battle ensues. The Impostor and Superman are both evenly matched to go blow to blow. Clark White tries to help but is sadly rejected. Superman is fighting with the Superman Impostor whose real name was Denny Swan. He was a man who was hit by a mutagen that confused him with Superman's DNA, making him even believe he was Superman. They soon take each other to the skies, and they both do destroy each other with the solar flare ability, but at the cost of New 52 Superman's own life. He soon turns to stone, as if he looked into Manus' eyes, and dissipates. His death, however, was not in vain. He inspired millions to do good and be better, even his once bitter enemy, Lex Luthor. Now, Superman's powers and abilities are showcased in nearly every media that he's in. He has laser vision, this is probably his most famous ability and most used. He has telekinesis, which aids him in flight. He has invulnerability, he's able to even stop bullets with his eyes in some instances. He has the solar flare, which is not showcased very often. Um, this ability gives him, as the name suggests, a solar flare. However, a drawback to this is he loses his ability for 24 hours. Now. For recommended reading of this version of the character, I recommend the Forever Evil event, the 2011 Justice League event, which showcases him in great detail, the Superman Doomed event, which is another great story, 
and of course Superman 2011 and Action Comics 2011. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for listening to my video. Break out. Thank you.